Hi, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we fought some Murlocs for Dock Master Baron, and we brought their fins to him. And we also died a lot yesterday. We died to uh, an Alliance Rogue who's level 19, who's stealthed under the bridge, didn't even notice him. We also died to some Murlocs. A pack of three rushed us and took us down. And yeah, it wasn't too bad. Had a little bit of fun doing that. But, uh, we got to wake up a little bit. Can't be having deaths like that. And the reason why I died is because I switched to Aspect of the Cheetah because I thought I could get away from the Murlocs, but I wasn't able to. And the Rogue, I was, uh, I was reading. I was reading a note that we have. I was reading this note here, the State of Lakeshire. And then the Rogue ganked me. Which was funny. So that was like my first... You know, opposite faction PvP experience. So we'll have to get the Horde back. We start seeing them. I think shortly we'll start seeing them. Especially if we go back to Ashenvale. We'll see a lot of them. And speaking of rogues. Rogues are uh, broken right now in TBC. When you use Shadow Step. I wonder if I can show you here. So when you use Shadow Step, you're supposed to be like right behind the target. And facing their back when you shadow step. But in TBC, when you shadow step, you go behind the target, but you're facing the opposite direction. So you're facing, like, nothing. So you can't really, like... I don't know. It's it's just a terrible move, and they really need to fix rogues right now. I kind of feel sorry for them. I'm not going to be playing a rogue in TBC, but... Yeah, the hopefully, hopefully they get fixed. Rogues also get some awesome legendaries in, uh, in TBC as well. They get uh, they get the Warglaves of Azanoth, I believe, from Illidan. And those are awesome. Probably the coolest legendaries in the game, I think. So if you play a rogue and you grind it out and eventually get those Warglaves, I would say it's worth it. Even though the drop rate's pretty damn low, especially to get both. That's a cool thing to grind up. It also makes you uh, pretty strong in arena as well. Rogues are great in arenas and DBC. But I don't know how good they'll be if uh, they're broken like the way they are. But I think Blizzard will fix them up. I can't see... Uh, those problems going into the launch at all but yeah as you notice we have been le we're leaving uh red ridge and we are going down to darkshire we're gonna go to this town here it's just south right here darkshire is like a spooky forest check this out See, there was a wolf there. We went, damn. I'm just thinking about like get another pet, but we got Alberta here. We have to stable Alberta and go out and actually find another pet. I haven't been really like down to do that yet, but maybe the next time we go to Stor Stormwind, we'll uh, we'll stable Alberta. Hopefully there's a flight point guy at this town. Maybe he's a watcher back. He's watching the roads. and he, Looks like he dealt with uh, dealt with somebody here. Doesn't he look spooky? He's got the, the light. There's a skeleton right beside him. He's got some nice armor too. No helmet though. And there we go. We've discovered Darkshire. So this is the town that we want to go to. And we'll be questing in this area for a little bit. This guy's like level 28 here. Maybe we came here a little too early. Now one thing I want to see is... I want to see if... Uh, if they have a flight point here. If they don't, that kind of sucks. This is the town hall. Take a little tour of this town. Where's the mailbox at? They got a mailbox here or what? 
This is where the blacksmith stuff goes down. A nice little little house here. Doesn't look like there's anywhere to uh Oh this is the inn. This looks like the inn. Got a little graveyard over here. Actually never mind. This is just a place where they store some stuff. Check out the inn. It's good that they have an inn. Not bad. Looking for something specific? You should buy some heavy shot. There we go. Safe travels. And that's about it here. We got another little house. So this is clearly a place that is being uh seems like it's being attacked by the undead. And there is, finally found it. We found the flight guy. This is what I was hoping would be here. The problem is, we got a guy sitting on it, so there we go. So there we go, we got the flight point. There's Wit Wantmel. Just hanging out in his little shack. Yeah, it's a cool little town. It's nice we got a new flight point. Which means we can fly here from Stormwind. I'm going to keep Stormwind as our... Hearth spot for now. And we'll go in here and we'll have a little chat with Elaine Caravan. Well met. We'll check. It's dark times that have come, Hunter. All too soon will we lose everything when the light will forsake all but those who truly walk under the light. Raven Hill. Something's amiss at Raven Hill, Trab and Trab. Caller swears that someone or something is haunting the buildings there. Two nights running, he's noticed the shadows moving, and th the third before that, he says he saw light in one of the windows. If, as you say, you care about the safety of Duskwood, find out what monsters haunts the Raven Hill. Raven Hill. Find out what's haunting Raven Hill. Farewell. Okay, so let's go find out what's haunting Raven Hill. Seems like we have to move west, I believe. Track this down. Something you missed at Raven Hill. Doesn't really tell you where Raven Hill is. I guess we'll just follow the road. And eventually we'll find it. Maybe there's... Usually on the road they have like... Uh, like signs that tell you where you're going. So we'll just keep going down the road here. And then hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find a sign. We also hit level 22 yesterday, so we have... Pathfinding maxed out, which increased our aspect of the cheetah by 6%. Also increases aspect of the hawk. So here, oh, no signs yet. Looks like we got some watchers out here. I might uh, get Bestial Swift this next, or maybe we'll... Uh, I might start pit doing Unleashed Fury. Because then we'll get some more... Oh, good. We got Stitches here. All right. Don't want to fight Stitches now, do we? Look at him. Oh, oh my gosh, bud. Please don't, please don't, please don't. This would be a really cool pet to get. Gotta watch out for Stitches, though. You don't want to pull Stitches. Yeah, these guys are pretty high level. We gotta watch out. Yeah, fighting this level 24 young Black Ravager clearly shows me that uh, we kind of need to uh, kind of got to upgrade our, our gun. We're not doing too much damage. So it looks like these Watchmen here are going to see Stitches. I wonder if Stitches is, is just going to walk by them. Or are they going to fight him? Yeah, that's dumb. 
That's dumb. Nope, there we go. They're fighting. This looks awesome. Let me take a little screenshot here of this. Now we gotta run, though, so we don't want to get killed ourselves. Alright, looks like they were no match for Stitches. That's too... It's <laughs> too bad. So is he just going to go to the town and they got to fight Stitches at the town, I assume? See, we're not that much slower than a mount. I think this is like an epic mount, too. And also his, in his speed is increased by 60. Yeah, no, it's just a regular mount. Mount would be a lot faster if it was if it was an, uh, an epic mount. All right, so here we are. We found the signs. So Raven Hill is this way. Stranglethorn is that way. Darkshire, and then West Ball is this way as well. So there we go. So I guess we'll just follow the road, and we'll find Raven Hill eventually. I'm surprised we haven't unlocked any of the map yet. It's also smart to stay on the road because a lot of these. Uh, animals seem to be in the forest and they're pretty high level yeah I might get one of these wolves as my next pet one of those dire wolves they kind of match match trap and trap a little bit they got the black hair And wolves are pretty cool pets. They're they're like a balanced pet. They're like decent at everything. So you can't go wrong. Okay, so supposedly we should be near Raven Hill soon. And we gotta find Jitters. And he's gonna tell us what's haunting it. Right? Here we go. We're at Raven Hill. And there's our boy Jitters. Need something? How are you? No, please don't kill me. It's just me. Jitters. They're everywhere. I can't escape them. Monsters in Raven Hill. No, no, no. Couldn't be. Only harmless jitters. See you later. Good day right. to you. I've been stuck hiding in this ghost town for weeks, and I haven't eaten anything but grubs and weeds. I need some decent food, and I'm willing to trade well for it. Bring me a feast, and I'll pay you handsomely. I heard Chef Gruel at the Scarlet Raven Tavern in Darkshire makes very good dusky crab cakes. See you around. All right, so it looks like we got to go get this guy some food now. So it's like a, it's like a giant delivery. The thing is, we have tons of food on us. You know, it'd be nice if I could just give him the food that I have. I can give him all these red speckled mushrooms. And he can cook up this clam meat. You got a bunch of that. Yeah, that's it. That's it for this quest. It's just, uh, I guess it's just a travel quest. I don't know if we'll travel back. Maybe we'll do that next episode. I assume there's probably more quests in this area. But right now we're just discovering, discovering Darkshire or Duskwood. I'm debating on maybe going... Well, we don't need to go to Stormwind yet, but once the bags start getting a little bit full, we'll probably go back. Oh, nice. We got some buffs. I should thank that guy. May your generosity be returned to you a hundred... That's awesome. We got a nice little drive-by buff. He gave me Blessing of Wisdom, which, uh... It's better than nothing, but I don't really need mana. <laughs> I think mana is the least... The one that I would want the least. I think Blessing of Might would have been a little bit better. But I uh, can't complain. We got a buff. <laughs> it's better than nothing. We're moving pretty fast. Which is nice. Oh, we got a, got a Ravager on us. An aspect of the Hawk here.
Yeah, it's a pretty quick quest, especially if you're a hunter. If I was a warrior, it would probably wouldn't even be there by now. We go smack them. Looks like we got a bag. Got a 10 slot bag. That's good. It's a nice bag. I'll sell for a decent amount. Got a little lucky there. Good thing we stopped and uh, slayed that wolf. He had a little gift for us. But yeah, being a hunter's great. Moving fast. So these delivery quests aren't as bad as uh, they would be on any other class. Clearly see on mounts, mounts are a lot faster. Especially epic mounts. But we're, I don't think we're that much slower than... Uh, and regular mounts. Regular mounts were not that... It's not that slow. We're like half of a regular mount, pretty much. Yeah, our, I can really tell that our damage is low. And we need a new weapon. Gun would be nice. Even a new axe. Our axe is level 9, guys. Like, that's brutal. <laughs> We need a new two-handed weapon as well. Yeah, I don't even care if it's a sword. We'll train it. We'll get it up and we'll... We also need some new gear. We got level 13 gear here. A lot of this gear. Level 9 boots. I think the green one items are good. The, the belt's level 6. Like, yeah, our gear is pretty bad. Probably should invest in a little bit of gear, maybe. At least a weapon, I would say. So here we are. This is where the, sh the chef is. He seems to be inside here. Chef Gruel. What can I do for you? You need some crab cakes, do you? Well, I might be able to cook some up for you. So we have to... Uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. Dusky crab cakes are really made from spider legs. I know it's a bit disgusting, but the cakes have a nice tangy flavor and make great snacks. Bring me a gooey spider legs and I'll whip up a few of them. I hear venom web spiders are a good source. They nest to the north between the foothills and the river. Light bless you. All right, so eventually we'll have to do that. I think we'll save uh, collecting the crab cakes and delivering them to jitters for next episode. But that is the end of this episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.